Miami last year won 33 games. They've already won 34, one of the surprise teams in the NBA. Great deadline, 3 Eastern tomorrow, noon local time here in L.A. Clippers have great chemistry, but well, they look to make a move as Zubats gets the first basket of the game. He was fouled, missed the shot. And a guy that's just been drilling it, Robinson, his 166th three-pointer. He's basically a rookie. Duncan Robinson, another guy that embodies this heat culture with the way he plays. Olenek able to drill a three-pointer, 6-2 heat. They are number two in the league in three-point shooting this year. George able to create a little space and hit the long two. Good drive by Adebayo showing the skill set there. Robinson with the free throws, it's 10-4 Miami. Leonard's going to try another deep one. That one's good. Good offense by Miami. And Dunn out of Oakland, undrafted player, Paul George for three. For the Clippers with two threes, Miami with three. Four minutes gone by. In the first quarter, Butler spinning baseline. And he gets the bounce. Franchise record through 50 games. And their best players have barely played together. Leonard for three again, so all four of his attempts have come from behind the line, and he's hit two. Also, who knows how much he would have played, because remember, even as a rookie in Chicago, he didn't get a lot of playing time, had to really earn that as uh, the final pick in the first round. Wow, none. Another three. This team can struggle on the glass, but Zubats has been solid. There are a lot of people that were scratching their heads as a Dragic hit the three. Leonard puts it on the floor, finds Shamit for three, another Leonard assist. Three assists for Kawhi to go with three boards and six points. Nice feed by Dragic to Jones. Good pass again by Leonard. The first came against the Heat on January 24th down in Miami. Shot clock inside of 10. Three from Green, switches home. Robinson off the dribble for three, no. And soaring to get the rebound is Jones. He was up there forever. And then Vincent able to hit a three, gave Vincent just his second NBA game. So interesting. You made note at the top of the telecast about perhaps the acquisition of the Godala. Vincent getting some time tonight as Montrez does what Montrez does, and that's score close. Obviously, he can't talk at all about the Iguodala deal because uh, nothing is official yet. As Vincent gets another good look and hits again. And this is what this young man does. Shot clock down to three. Good screen by Jones. Dragic couldn't hit it, but Bam keeps it alive. Another three for Vincent. He's got three here in the quarter. The Knicks decide to give up Marcus Morris, and he goes to one of the two L.A. teams. That is fascinating. And that's the other thing. Is there's a lob to Edebayo from Goran Dragic as the Heat has opened up a 12-point lead. They're putting the pass perfectly. Was an all-star two years ago. All-NBA third team a handful of years ago. Lou Williams gets the bounce. That ends a 10-0 run. Of seven at the free throw line. Miami is 7 of 8. Heat leading by seven midway through the second quarter. Dragic floats it up and in as he's fouled by Shamit. So a three-point chance. Right. So Dylan Brooks and company will have to wait for their shot at Iguodala next year. Brooks, as uh, Harrell scores and is fouled by Olenek, second on Olenek, has not attempted a two. He's being defended by a guy playing in his second NBA game. Lou Williams, 4-3. Shot clock at seven for none. Olenek. And you got to get out on him. He can stroke it from deep, 40% on the year. The easiest schedule left. Portland has the experience. They it was a toe issue that was bothering him, but that's good news. Any time that you see Zion added to an injury list, there's going to be concern. Nice finish by Butler, getting the spin. And he'll go back to the free throw line. Shot clock at three. Leonard, four, three. Zubat's offensive rebound, uncontested, goes right back up and flushes it. Going to be aggressive as well between now and tomorrow. Again, the trade deadline is 3 o'clock Eastern, 12 Pacific tomorrow. Robinson from way out, and he makes it look easy. Paul George with three fouls in the first half. Leonard again from behind the arc, and that one's good.
his third three-pointer of the game. I never read that high. The doc was telling us before the game when, when they're meeting and going through film as Beverly banks it in. I like his mentality, not looking at the box like, I got you, my man. I'm coming right at you. 24-year-old. He was at Illinois for three years as Leonard hits another three. He will put their smalls down on the bottom, and that allowed a one-on-one -on -one opportunity where Zubac had a mouse in the house. Offensive rebound by Bam, and then he slams it home. Got nine points so far. He'll be participating in the All-Star game for the first time. Harkless is good from three-point land. Okay, but how efficient was that move by Paul George? Ease with which they shoot it from 36 feet. And I think George had the stat that Lillard shooting what, like 43% from 40 feet or something crazy like that. Paul George drains a three. Ten-point game, George. Strokes home, a three-pointer, and the lead is up to 13. And Kawhi directing traffic from the corner. Shamit gets a three-pointer, and that's 15 threes now for the Clippers. To absorb some of these threes. Shamit, nice pass underneath. Two bots is fouled, plus one. Dylan Brooks was at Oregon. He was such a key player on some of their deep runs in the NCAA tournament. Here's a breakaway. Here comes Jones. We'll see that at the slam dunk contest in a couple weeks. As he was calling out two for the 2-3 two, defense. I'm not sure which one. George drills a three from the corner, and the Clippers can't miss. Williams so good moving to his left. Right on cue as he swishes that through. Obviously, George will get you an update on uh, Butler when it becomes available. Dragic, and that was one of the easier. The inexperienced Gabe Vincent, a two-way player, getting a chance to play tonight. We haven't seen Deion Waiters on the bench, so speculated that he might be part of the trade as Jones soars to the rim and smashes it. Come on, how, how about that play by Bam Adebayo? Third assist for Bam. He averages five per game on the year. And clearly my producer doesn't appreciate good defense because he only wanted to show the offensive highlight. <laughs> Danilo Gallinari could end up with the Heat. Could they be ready to go Friday in Sacramento? Bam, and they're going to count it. And a foul on Harrell. That's his third. As Bam misses the free throw, but it's poked back up by uh, Robinson. Bam certainly a candidate for most improved as Robinson drills a three, and Doc Rivers calls a timeout. He's played 42 this year, so by and large healthy. Three-pointer around and down for Jamichael Green. 19 three-pointer with eight assists. 13 points here since intermission. Dragic finds Bam for the stop. None for two. No. Battered around by Adebayo to Jones. And he flips it up and in. It's now for Montrez Harrell. Dragic, Adebayo, good feet underneath. And Jones... Again, showing that leaping ability off two feet. BP from 2018. Traded to the Dodgers. Legs has got to be just sitting back admiring all the shooting happening here. Derek Jones with the emphatic jam, and it's a six-point game. Clippers bench with 17 of their 19 points here in the fourth quarter. Out of bio down low, gets two. Third Harold Williams and Shamit on the court. A small LA lineup. George, drive and kick. Shamit's three is good! Shamit again, of course! 22 threes by the Clippers! In the game, on the year, Clippers bench average is about 51. And before that three by George, the bench had scored the last 17 points. Ball. Tell him he's doing one heck of a job. So the Clippers bench scores 31 fourth quarter points, 63 for the game.